Here we go again. I have a question. I'm sure most of you are familiar with a question like this one. This one was from a November paper, 2021 in Gauteng, right? So the question says, triangle PQR is an op uh, whereby P is an obtuse angle. So here is P there. They're saying redraw and sketch in your answer book and prove the sign rule, basically. So just to save us some time, I already drew this. And then I, this is my construction. My construction now, it takes this angle and puts it uh, on the origin. And then this one overlaps the Cartesian plane now to the negative side. And then uh, this line PQ, it lies along the x-axis, right? That's my construction. And then afterwards, I create the height such that the height is at right angles with uh, the x-axis, let's say so, right? Afterwards, what do I do? From here, I'll start to look for, let's call this thing uh, D, RD. It needs a label, right? It's best that way. So afterwards from here, what I want to do, I want to look for the sine of P, right? So the sine of P, which angle can ever give me the sine of P? This one can never give you the sine of PY. This triangle here on the right side, it's not the right angle triangle. You can only find the sine of P on the left side of the triangle. So I'm saying here, the sine of P is equals to the opposite, which is height, over the hypotenuse. Now, what is this side, the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is opposite to this angle here, the angle Q. So my hypotenuse in this case, it's a small letter Q. This side, RP, it's actually Q because it's opposite to this angle here. So here I have Q. And then afterwards, I want to make H the subject of the formula. For that to happen, I'll multiply both sides with Q. So I have Q and the sine of P is equals to H over Q times Q. So that this Q can remove this Q. And this one is already multiplied this side. Therefore, my H is equals to Q sine P. We good? Then afterwards, I go to the next part. The next part now. I want to look for the sign of this angle here. How is that possible? When you look at the bigger triangle RDQ, we have a right angle triangle there. So which means if I can look for the sign of Q, I'm actually I'm actually comparing the opposite side looking at the right angle triangle. I'm comparing the opposite side which is the height. Here is the height over the hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse of the bigger triangle? It is an angle that is opposite to D there. No, this angle is not opposite to D, sorry. It's opposite to P. Almost made a mistake there. You see that? So this angle here, it's opposite to the side there. So this side, it's called P because it's opposite to this one here. Now, in that case, my hypotenuse here is P. Afterwards, I want to make H the subject of the formula. How does that happen? I'll multiply this side with P and I'll also have to multiply this side by P. So this removes that. I'm left with H being equals to P and the sine of Q. We're good there. Hope we're good. So now I have this situation there whereby H is equals to P sine Q. And I have this situation here whereby h is equals to q sine p. So h and h, it's the same thing. So which means I can take this portion of h and say it's equals to this portion of h because they are all h's, right? So I'm saying q sine p is equals to p sine q, right? Afterwards, I want to um, leave, what is this? My proof here wanted me to have P as a numerator and Q as a numerator. So I'm removing the sine Q here. So if I divide this side by sine Q, I also have to divide this side by sine Q. 
right? So the sine Q will cancel the sine Q, right? And then I'm left with Q sine P all over sine Q. It equals to P over 1, right? So now I want to remove the sine P here. How do I remove the sine P? I will divide this side by sine P such that this sine p will cancel with the sine p and because i introduced dividing by sine p here i also have to divide by sine p here we good therefore this means now on this side i'm left with q over the sine of p being equals to p over oh, q over the sine of q all over p over the sine of p this thing of holding a camera is a problem but i hope you see that so this is all that you have to do the biggest job is on your construction just make sure that your construction is the same the side opposite to q it's a small letter q the side of the side opposite to this angle p it's a small letter p and this constructed side it's your height thank you